Good morning. It's so glorious this morning. It's the 30th of December. I haven't even got a coat on. It's lovely, mild, sunny, beautiful. So I've decided to pop up to the allotment. I wasn't going to film today, but it's such a nice day. I thought I might as well. And I'll just take you with us while I get on with a few jobs around here. The place is like an absolute pigsty. So I'm going to do a bit of tidying up. I might end up just getting... I'm going to turn the compost. That's what I'm going to do first. That might be the only thing I get done. Depends how hard that is. Um, but if I've got any energy left after that, I'll do some more jobs. If not, I'll bring you back with me in the next couple of weeks if the weather stays um, clement and we'll start tidying up this place because, you know, it's New Year in a couple of days. By the time you're watching it, watching this, it'll probably be 2022. And that's the start of a new year, a new growing year. I'm getting quite excited about it already. Thinking about seeds and all of that. I know it's too early yet, but you've got to get your allotment all nice and tidy first though, haven't you? So if you've been watching this channel for long, you know I've got these two big compost bins here. Um, I filled them right up about a month or two ago, probably two months now. And I have meant to turn them sooner than this. Uh, but anyway, today I'm going to try and turn certainly at least one of them. And hopefully might have some compost by spring. Um, I mean, they have sunk down by about at least a third. So we'll dig them out and see how we'll get on. serious job when the hair gets tied up. Right, that's the first one emptied. A lot of dry leaves on there. We live in a street with loads of trees, so we'll have to get rid of all the leaves every year. So we've got a lot of leaves on there and a lot of them are still quite dry. But I'll turn it over, get them near the bottom. And it is starting to decompose, but it's got a long way to go. So there you go, as you see, as I see, starting to decompose. Whether I'm gonna have any compost ready by spring, Kinda of doubtful, I think. Right, that's one compost down. Don't know whether I'll have strength to do the second one, we'll see. I'm going to tidy up this border here. I've had it netted because the birds were pecking at the cabbages, but there's only a couple of cabbages left and they're not very good. So I think I'll just take this netting off. I've got some sprouts there and then my kale all got knocked over in the big storm we had um, at the beginning of December storm, Arwen. We had some major damage around here on the northeast coast of England, masses of trees down. I've never seen um I've never seen stone damage like that. I've never heard winds like it. It was quite frightening actually. It's a big tree just over the field there got smashed to smithereens and this huge kind of Leylandy cypress style of tree um came down outside of my auntie's house. The tree was about I don't know 15 foot from my bedroom window and luckily it fell the other way. They took a wall down, um, a lamppost down, it was right across the main road. Uh, so, and she didn't hear a thing. <laughs> Could you believe it? Anyway, I digress. Yeah, my kale's all over with that wind and this everything's been knocked to smithereens and I've never managed to get it sorted. So I'm just going to take this net away now and dismantle this just to make it look a bit tidier if nothing else.
also noticed my strawberry bed is sprouting a whole pile of little weeds i redid it all just at the end of the summer then put masses of compost on well unfortunately my compost my homemade compost has got a lot of weed seeds in it and they're all sprouting so i'll just take care of them quickly keep on top of it it's the best way to do it not let it get out of hand if i can get these sorted out now it'll stop the border getting out of control in the spring that's the plan anyway this is the border that i harvested the new zealand yams from last week oh there's the one there well not last week two days ago um i'm gonna put my potatoes in here this coming season and i've just left it in the right mess i'm expecting to find lots of volunteer new zealand yams coming up in here next year so i don't know if any of you can remember a couple of months ago i made a big this big thing full of seaweed and comfrey feed i put the comfrey and the seaweed in um, and borage as well topped it up with water i think it was about half full to make feed for next year well unfortunately this also was one of the casualties of storm arwen um we've got all this wood at the back there i don't know if you can see and it, it blew well i figured this out after a while i couldn't understand it initially when i came and looked it was empty um and i knew it hadn't blown this over because it was upright when i realized the wind had blown the wood over and it had knocked the tap at the bottom out or partially out at any rate and the stuff had all just leaked out so it gutted all of that work for nothing um the the comfrey and the seaweed are still in there in the tights can you remember i stuffed my tights with them um so i, I need to get this tap sealed i'll have to get kenny to come up at some point and seal it up with some silicon or something uh, and top it up again and try with what i've got in there but this area here is sodden and it'll be so lush and green in the spring i won't be able to believe it i'll probably have grass this high but never mind uh certainly could have been worse couldn't it yeah i haven't lost it all it's about up to there so i lost it two thirds or three quarters of it these are my sprouts that i'm very proud of it's the first time i've grown sprouts another one there as well um so yeah they are going to be had with the new year's dinner i've got a leg of lamb in the freezer i'm going to get that out probably tomorrow and we're going to have sprouts and i'll show you my broccoli as well that we're going to have this is me purple sprouting broccoli she's coming on quite nicely i'm not going to pick them today i'm going to wait till the day or the day before and come up and pick them um pretty satisfying to be picking veg in the winter i find well i don't think i'm gonna have the strength to do that second compost heap i'll leave that for another day last task of the day pick a few bits and bobs for the hens but slim pickings for them these days at this time of year one of our hens poor maureen she's not doing too good i don't think she's gonna last long not sure what's wrong with her but some nice little treats might help this is the beetroot i planted at the back end of the year good for nothing but the hens they'll enjoy it there are little teeny beetroots on the ends there it's the next day i've just come up to see if i can finish off doing that second compost heap today i ran out of steam yesterday but um as the weather's so lovely in spring like i thought it might be nice to have a little look back at what it was like last year in the height of the summer and this early spring late spring rather uh, just to keep our hopes up to know that's coming soon springs round the corner so I'll let you have a little look at that now
Jemima and she's already laid eggs. Oh, so these are the two squash that I'm going to put in the uh, trough. That uh, Uchiki Kuria. Enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to crack on, get some work done now, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.